Greetings everybody, welcome to the Spa Resort Hawaiians in Iwaki, Fukushima. This place, I used to live in Fukushima 20 years ago and I didn't come here and that was my loss. Today I'm gonna be taking you inside to see all of the attraction in, in the Spa uh, Resort Hawaiians and a little bit of the history of this place too. Um, it is a really warm place. You can see I'm in a t-shirt in January which seems a little bit crazy. Here's the mascot right in front of us. Let's go inside, it is a little bit chilly. Uh, I'm wearing a t-shirt because indoors, it is a warm 28 degrees Celsius the whole time. So I'm gonna put a mask on because um, that is the policy right now to go in there and be safe. Here you go. Now one ticket is a Sansen Go Hyakuen, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna walk right in. Uh, Aloha. Right. All right, welcome to Spa Resort Hawaiians. Uh, this is the uh, front desk here. Now you can stay overnight here. They do have a hotel, uh, which would really enhance your experience, I think. <laughs> I came in through many different rounds. All right, here we go. There's the front desk right there. And we're about to see the pool, which is just so incredible. Wow! I'm just gonna pan around here. This part of the, this corner of the, the main hall really does look Nothing like Japan. If I pan up, you can see it is a big dome-like structure. So they can keep the temperature regulated, which is perfect in the winter because no one wants to come to a cold area. The summer, it says Hawaiians right there. Here's a map. But again, I put a link in the description so you can get a better look of it. We're right now in the water park. Uh, this corner here, you can see it has a, I don't know, it's like a traditional walk that you can take. You feel a little bit more in Hawaii. Where I'm going to take you right now, we'll show you the pool area. Again, if I didn't say that a ticket here for a day pass is 3,500 yen. But I have a secret here. All right, come over here in the corner. Okay, I have a, I have a secret here. If you go to a convenience store, you can get the ticket at a discount, 7-Eleven or Lawson. So if you buy the ticket there, you can get a discount. I was told that in secret, but I'm gonna pass that along to you. Shh. <laughs> 3,500 yen is like, like $30, $30 or something like that right now. Wow. Look at this. Kanai, my wife, is just so upset because I told her I'm going to Hawaiians today and she goes, why aren't you taking me? And I said, well, because I'm just filming it really quickly to give everybody an overview. But we will come back. Oh, she's going to do the slide. We will come back when uh, um, things are a little bit better. Leo, wow! Leo just came. We just went to another onsen, so you got to go a little bit slowly. Eat. The water here is all onsen water. Onsen is a hot spring water. Now this is very close to Yumoto Onsen. Yumoto Onsen is one of the famous onsen towns of, uh, of Fukushima Prefecture. Everybody in Japan who, who knows onsen culture knows about this. Ah, ohayou gozaimasu. I like how they all look like little huts. Lookout towers. Now they have these massive water slides here. There's actually another water slide. I believe maybe it's this one here. I think it's one of the, the highest in Japan. And it looks like dangerously so in a good way. There's a lifeguard right there. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna walk back out of here and I'm going to take you in a loop of the Hawaiians right now. 
There's a point over here where we get a, a really nice overview of it all. Now, Yumoto Onsen, I've, I've been there a few times. It's a really famous onsen town. The water is so nice. Iwaki in Fukushima, the town that this is in, it's very, it's, it's very close to the Pacific Ocean. So you have a different kind of weather. Fukushima Prefecture is one of the most, I don't know, it's one of the most diverse prefectures because you have the really nice ocean and you have some amazing mountains. And in between there, you have some plains and, and uh, in the Aizu Wakamatsu area, which is just so beautiful. It's just such a, a very diverse scenery driving across Fukushima, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. Because in the next uh, video, I'm gonna be taking you to a famous spot where you can see a train crossing a snowy bridge. Uh, it, you have to really love trains to, to appreciate it, but I'm taking you there next. All right, here we come across the bridge. I'm going to pan around from this, this deck here. And I'm going to take you behind the scenes to some places where you can't go. <laughs> Alright, for the next minute, just kind of soak in the vibe here. There's some people on the water slide there. You can see the human body form going through the tube. Man, if I had a little bit more time, I would so be in there. All right, let's let me take you this way to the uh, elevator. What's this, man? I'm gonna take you out through the elevator here. What do you think? If you are Hawaiian or if you've been to Hawaii, do you feel the vibes of Hawaii here? Like, I lived so close to here, and I did not go to, uh, to this place, even though I knew about it, and that was, a big, that was a big loss for me. Now, this place opened up on January 15th, 1966. It was a while ago, and it's got a really, really interesting history. This area was part of the, the, the Joban um, mining industry. They used to do, you know, mine a lot of stuff in this area, but when the mines started to... Um, uh, empty out they had to think of something else to do well they had this hot water so they decided to create onsen towns and through the through the the history of it i guess this started off as like the joban hawaiian center and then that changed over to uh oh and that changed over to what is now spa resort hawaiians look at this they got some loco moco over here. So I'm panning across here. This is the stage where they do some hula dancing. And the troupe here from Iwaki Fukushima is very famous. I believe they have about 40 or 50 members to the hula troupe here. And they, they tour around Japan and the world doing hula dancing. Maybe you can kind of take a look here. We can walk a little bit down. Now the Himawari or the sunflower represents the sun in Hawaii and you can see of course looking at it it's like you're looking right at the sun. You get a suntan looking at that for too long here. So let's let, let me move along because I think we have some uh, copyright music. Aloha! Copyright music we're just gonna kind of uh, cruise through here. I will ask about seeing if I could insert a little bit of the video of what a uh, hula dance show is like here but um, I think if you stay at the hotel, you might be able to get even more of the feeling as you eat some of the Hawaiian food, perhaps. You feel a little bit Hawaiian spirit. I always feel through the food. You can really uh, taste it. I know there's an elevator here. Ah, uh, here it is. So I'm gonna take you up to the second floor. that you can't go to. So this is like inside information. 
we're, we're getting. I have, I have the, the badge to, that allows me permit to go just about anywhere. Welcome to the next level. <laughs> All right. We can go beyond this border. This is a spa. It's completely different than the, um, the pool area, isn't it? So I guess I can, I can take off my mask a little bit here. It's completely different than the pool area. You have what looks like a very European, I don't know, European feel to it. And if I pan up, again, this is all covered as well. And a very warm temperature, about 28 degrees in here. Again, it's January and I've got a t-shirt on. Let me take you through here now and I wanna take you outside and show you that they even have more hot spring water. This thermal, geothermal generated, uh, naturally occurring water from the, from the uh, uh, ground gets pumped into here. The thing is you need your bathing suit when you are, uh, you need your bathing suit when you're here at the Hawaiians because it is a resort. You can see everybody has their bathing suit. Is, all right, we gotta duck underneath this here. So this area right now is not open, but or maybe it is. Let me take you outside here. This is the spa garden patio. Oh, it's chilly now. Wow. So there's nobody out here except for us, but you can see it's really beautiful here. Panorama sauna. All of this water too is hot spring water. This is all hot spring water. It's, it smells, you could smell a little bit. It's, it's not as, as sulfur smelling, eggy smelling as uh, uh, you know, some of the other onsen. Each onsen has a different smell to it. Not all of them smell the same, it's just different mineral contents. This one doesn't have as much sulfur in it, but you can, you can smell them. There are some minerals in the water. Oh, this is, this water steaming. Okay, let's go check it out. There are several baths around this, this circle area, and this is pretty cool here. So if, if, if one is too crowded, you can just pick one that's not crowded at all. Look at the steam coming off this water. Oh, that is so nice and warm. It's about 38 degrees. You want the onsen water should be around, I don't know, like around 40 degrees uh, Celsius. Why am I not naked and, and jumping in here? It's because you have to have a bathing suit in here. That's the water slide right there. Do you see it? That's the water slide straight ahead. It's one of the tallest in Japan. So, Nihon no Ichiban Takai water slide is That's the tallest water slide in Japan. That one right there. All right, I gotta do that one of these days. I, I can't do it today. I'm just giving an overview. And then inside of here, I guess you can, uh, uh, with your bathing suit. If, if you have kids, this is like the perfect place kind of just take a, a break. If you've come here for, for Japanese culture, Hawaiian culture, for, to, to Japanese Hawaiian culture is, there's such a, a strong connection. And I'm kind of investigating why that is. Uh, one of the uh, governors of Hawaii was uh, Japanese American. So there is a very strong connection between Japan and Hawaii. It's just interesting, this, this place came about in 1966. Uh, there's not a lot of people here because of the pandemic. And that's another reason why I wanted to highlight this. If you are living in Japan and you can't go to Hawaii, you actually can right here. It's a snack bar over there. All right, under we go. Ah. All right, I'm gonna take you out a different exit now. A different way around and then I'll show you some of the other pools. Uh, 
Uh, if you are renting a car, this is pretty easy to get to. Right off of the interchange, it's only about a two or three minutes uh, drive off of the interchange to get here. From Tokyo, it took me a little bit over two hours to drive here. It was a nice drive. The, um, it's a very nice drive. The, uh, so while, it's, while, it's, while the elevator is waiting, I'll, I'll show you one more time here. Here's the elevator. On the way, on the way to um, Hawaiians, there's a couple of rest stop service areas on the highway. One of them is called Tomobe. That's where I ate this massive um, bowl of meat on rice. There's, so there's a lot of local food, that Scuba Dome they called it, Mount Scuba, which is famous from the neighboring prefecture. All right. So I'm gonna take you this way around the uh, theater. I'm pretty sure you could book the hotels off of sites like booking.com. But right now there's not a lot of not a lot of people here which is perfect. Whoa, check this out. So we have some some Hawaiian dishes here. This is himawadi kare. Like it looks like a, a sunflower there. Look that out. Look at that. That is so cool. Wow. And then we have some uh, uh, more himawadi dokomoko kare. This is like fusion food, right? I don't know if they have this available in Hawaii. Gosh, that's really cool. And you can see some of the performances here. That looks like a lot of fun. I guess it's um, it's Hawaiian dance. Oh, those ladies are really pretty. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll show. let's move on. Let's move on. I'm gonna take you this way. I want to make sure going the I like this. They show you a little bit of the history of the event. Now, after the great Tohoku earthquake on, on March 11, 2011, this um, location is pretty close to where it happened, but it's far enough from the sea. It's far enough from, um, here's a map of it. It's far enough that uh, it wasn't too impacted. This is, uh, there's Iwaki Station. This is where I used to live, here. And then uh, the Hawaiians is, uh, uh, oh, right here. Hawaiians is off of the Iwaki Yumoto interchange. So it wasn't too impacted by the. Uh, oh, that's going. There's like part of the mining culture there. Looks like that. It wasn't too impacted by it, but they did shut down for seven months after the great Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. And the Hawaiian troop at that time, they were touring around Japan, the Hula Girls. You can see, really. I guess this looks like a drama. Really pretty. I always wanted to learn how to hula. Can men hula? If you're Hawaiian, let me know. I guess they do like this thing. They, they have the fire. Which is cool. They got Hawaiian's vending machines. And Hawaiian's water. Which is pretty sweet. It's not sweet, it's just water. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so this is this is the other side of the pools. Check it out. This just goes around and around and around and around. And I, if you're a kid, you're going to love this. But Leo's a little bit too young, but I think... In a month or two, he should be able to, should be able, there's the mascot for the Hawaiians. Pretty cute, look at that. She's like a, a palm tree with a bikini. Nothing wrong with that. So there you go. There's a map in the, there's a map, a, a link in the description to the map to the Spa Resort Hawaiians. I hope you do check this place out. On the weekdays, it's not too bad.
It's a really chill place. I can spend the day here, kind of break up your trip. And right now, if you're living in Japan, you can't travel to Hawaii. This is the ultimate getaway in the winter because it is a, I'm sweating. It is 28 degrees in here, which is like 80. So there you have it. If you have any questions, you can leave them. If you have any questions, you can leave them uh, in below. I'm happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, if you've been here before, let me know your experience, share it with us. Thanks so much for watching. I'll take you on another adventure. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.